Well, we got day baseball from the corner of third and king. The Giants and Guardians have split the first two games of this series, and today it's a matchup of lefties in the final game of the series from Oracle Park. Our game time weather is brought to you by the Santa Cruz Beach Boardwalk. You can buy your ride wristbands online and save up to $20 per person. It's a very comfortable 67 degrees. The winds are mild. It's a good day. Well, let's check out that calm breeze you're talking about. Just a trickling eight mile an hour breeze, which is almost nothing at all. And because of that, this ballpark's going to play very small. You'll see good opportunity from foul line to foul line for home runs today. But the good news is if you're trying to catch a pop up or a fly ball it should be relatively easy. However that could all change in a couple hours if the wind picks up but right now it's a calm day. So Kyle Harrison leads. His team out on the field. Lineup that. Kyle Harrison will be facing goes like this it'll be. The local kid Stephen Kwan to lead things off. Then Ramirez Naylor and the former A Ramon Luriano. Andres Jimenez will hit in the fifth spot. Then it's Freeman Arias and Josh Naylor's brother Bo. He'll hit eighth. And Miles Straw is hitting ninth. On the hill today for the Giants will be the left handed rookie Kyle Harrison. Harrison, 22 years of age, 6'2, 200 pounder. This is what he has done in four starts. 101 with a 487 ERA, 26 strikeouts against seven walks and 20 and a third. Harrison, as we mentioned, a rookie, but he's a local guy. Grew up at the De La Salle High School, signed out of high school. He was all set to go to UCLA, and the Giants said, No, nope, I think we want you in our organization. He was the third round pick for the Giants in 2020. Now let's take a, a look at his StatCast 3D powered by UCA or by the Google Cloud. Kyle Harrison. See a lot of fastballs. They average 94. We can see him go up you know, mid to high 90s at times with it. His main breaking ball is kind of a slurve. He has a change up. Uh, slider cutters five different types of things that he'll do with the ball. But basically it's it's the, the fastball and the slurve. Changeup really has been a nice surprise. We think it's going to develop into a very good pitch for him. And let's take a look at the defense playing behind uh, Kyle Harrison today. It's brought to you by Land Rover Defender, starting in the Giants outfield from left to right. It'll be Hanniger, Slater, and Matos. Good arms across the board. The best arm in right. DeYoung and Schmidt on the left side of the infield. Estrada and Davis on the right side. And we welcome back Patrick Bailey, who will be in the squad today, putting down the signs. It's been a week on the concussion protocol, but he's rare to go and ready to go. First pitch of the ball game is up and in. So we get started at 1246. Quan hitting 270 with five home runs. He's got 50 runs batted in and he spins on this one. And pops it foul down the right field line and that'll be a souvenir. Quan in the series is one for eight. I like his first two fastballs. He's tried to put him right in that inside corner to the left handed hitting Stephen Kwan. I think that's important for him to do against lefties today. Swing <laughs> and a miss. One and two. Kwan splits the lefties and righties. They're about the same, right around 265. He can hit. Good player. Two balls, two strikes. With Jose Ramirez on deck. And a full count. It's Shearwater behind the dish, then Wagner Moore and, Bre and Dreckman from first to third. And the walk, and that's how this game gets started. Oh, let's take a look at the Nissan keys to the game. Clean defense for Harrison. The Giants' last couple of games have sputtered a bit with the leather. They need to tighten it up and win this ball game. They need a happy flight to Denver and going into the off day and into the last home or road trip of the year. It's a long one. Ten gamer. 
Today's an important day. Here's Ramirez with speed at first. And a fastball that's called the ball. Stu Sherwater, the plate umpire. I like his zone. It's fair. He give you a few corners, but it's a very consistent zone. There's a strike. Clown's got 19 steals. He's been thrown out three times. And this is a running team, the Guardians. High and deep to left. Looking up is Hanniger, and it's gone. Second hitter of the game and it's two nothing. Twenty third of the year. And we said this is a day for home runs because there's not a lot of wind protecting this ballpark and this is a fastball right above the hands middle end. Gives you an idea just how quick he is on that side of the plate. And that was loud. Yeah, and it wasn't really helped by the wind. No. I think that would have turned around a pretty steady wind. Naylor takes a strike. Naylor has hurt the Giants in this series. He's only two for nine, but he's done some things. He's hit a home run. He's made a play yesterday that really turned the game around. Defensively. Two balls and one strike. Swinging a foul. It's two and two. See that home run from Jose Ramirez is 215th homer as a member of the Cleveland organization. Tied him with Larry Doby as he climbs the ladder. Next up, Carlos Santana, Hal Trotsky. Went past your old teammate, Andre Thornton. My old teammate, too. So, two and two. I mean, the emergency swing, and Naylor stays alive. Uh oh, Easter egg hunt. That'll drive the whole section crazy. <laughs> two and two. Line drive, that'll be a base hit. Man, he's getting hurt with pitches up right now. Here's Ramon Liriano. You know the tendency for young pitchers is when they get rocked a little bit they have a tendency to want to try and add to everything. And I like that call right there. That's a change up. That's Andrew. That's Patrick Bailey. Getting that off speed pitch with him. And I think that's how you go when there's loud contact go softer. Don't always try and add try and subtract. Did it again another change up. Walk home run single. It's had two change ups now that sets up the fastball above the hands. I'll back. And he was on it. Trying to get Liriano to chase, and he did not. So this would be pitch number 20 in the inning.
Miller can fool you. He's got eight steals on the year. Got to make sure you stop. If you're the pitcher, you have to make him stop. About four inches off the plate. It's two and two. Got him. Finally got him to chase the high fastball. Well, that's a big get. So he used the off speed stuff to set up the, the fastball, and here he shoots one right by Loriano, who in the last fastball he saw, he was right on it. And this one he throws right by him. Here's Jimenez, who almost got hit. Jimenez in the series, in the series, two for six. And he takes wide. Still looking for a command of his pitches, so he's not in complete sync with his mechanics yet. Here's a guy that it's really odd when you see it. Jimenez, 264 against lefties, 231 against righties. There you go. Liriano is going to go for it, so he'll make or make that nailer will go to third. So another lefty with a base hit. Take a look at the location. And that is right in on the hands. I mean, I think from his perspective, that's a pretty good pitch to make. For the most part, a lot of these lefties have been beaten the middle away. But he poured that thing right in on the hands. And that's an impressive at bat from him and us. So Andrew Bailey with some words of wisdom with Tyler Freeman coming up. Still hasn't put a ball on the ground. Everything's been up. Freeman had the big hit yesterday. Knocked in runs two and three. It broke a 1 1 tie. And he jumped on the first pitch from Ryan Walker. See what he does here with the infield in. It's a pop up. It's Hanniger coming in. Hanniger's got it. Here's the bluff. And a good throw by Hanniger. As good as a strikeout. Take a look. He had momentum coming into the play. Two hopper right on the dot. And that's a perfect throw location wise. Here's Gabriel Arias. Who last night was 0 for 4 with four strikeouts. Here he takes a strike. Jimenez with 27 steals. The Giants have to figure out if they're going to throw through if Jimenez goes. He does not, and it's high and wide. It's a ball and a strike. Not able to really make that adjustment to get that ball down around the knees. Runner goes. Bailey is going to throw through. And Estrada did the wise thing. He, before he did anything, he checked to see what Ramirez was going to do at third. 
or make that what Naylor was going to do at third. I mean, look, your first responsibility, Mike, is the runner at third. Well, and the, the jump was enormous, too. But the thing about Patrick Bailey, I mean, he just doesn't think there's anybody that can steal off him. I mean, he's got that, that stubborn confidence. Even when a guy was halfway before he even got rid of the ball or even got the ball to start his exchange with. Foul back. Naylor is at third. Jimenez is at second. And this is a huge situation here for Harrison. Big chopper to third for Schmidt. And he throws it away, and both runs are going to score. We talked about defense in this series has not been good and it was going to be a key today and this is a critical play. Lots of time a couple of shuffle steps. And throws low and J.D. Davis cannot pick it. The one hopper. And this one hurts. So here's Bo Naylor. And he bounces this one to Tyro Estrada, and that'll end the inning. So the Giants find themselves trailing early. And the lineup to face Logan Allen will go like this Slater Estrada and Wilmer Flores. Mitch Hanniger is the cleanup hitter, then it's Matos Bailey and J.D. Davis. Paul DeYoung gets a start, and then it's Casey Schmidt. Who is at third and hitting ninth? On the hill today for the Cleveland Guardians will be the left handed rookie Logan Allen. Allen, 25 years of age, former second round pick by the Guardians in the 2020 Major League Amateur Draft. Take a look at what he has done in 22 starts, 7 and 7 with a 3 6 8 ERA. A lot of strikeouts 113, 117 and a third against 43 walks. All right, Giants have some work to do. Here's Slider. Slider takes a strike. 258, five home runs, 20 driven in. Tyro Estrada to follow. And then Wilmer Flores. Giants 74 and 71. With the loss yesterday, they have still won four or five. Slater with a base hit comes on a one two pitch. Right, let's check out our StatCast 3D powered by Google Cloud on Logan Allen, the young left hander for the Guardians. And uh, he's not going to blow you away with a lot of velocity. He throws all four seam fastballs. He'll sweep the slider. He's got a change up and a cutter. But he wants to pitch to contact. I mean, he's a guy that's trying to take the sting out of your at bat, upsetting your timing. Estrada at 270. Bang bang, nothing in two. Definitely established the low part of the zone. Tyro Estrada one for nine in the series. And he's got a base hit. So the Giants doing their best hitting once they get to two strikes on him. 
Well, let's check out the Guardians defense. It's brought to you by your Bay Area GMC dealers starting in the outfield from left to right. It'll be Quan, Straw, and Loriano, the best arm in center field. Arias and Freeman on the left side of the infield. Jimenez and Naylor on the right side. Bo Naylor, he'll be in the squad putting down the signs. Here's Wilmer Flores, who takes the pitch high and wide. Big chopper foul. Wilmer well, two for five in the series. Fouls it back. Ooh. It's one and two. He was on it. Dirt. Naylor with a block. You know, we saw the, the, the defensive alignment that the Guardians have employed against Wilmer Flores, and we haven't seen a lot of dramatic shifts defensively this entire series. They've been pretty conservative with how they set it up. Got him. Change up and a good one. Take a look at the sell job. What kind of arm action does he give? Well, identical to the fastball. And that is a big weapon for Allen, especially against right handers. Here's Hanniger. Hanniger takes a strike. Hanniger 0 for 4 last night. And he takes high. He is hitless in this series. He's 0 for 7. Right now Slater at second and Estrada at first. Gonna miss one two. Same changeup, and he, he can do two things with his changeup. He can take and use a two seam grip and have it run a little bit away from a right hander, or he can throw one that's got a little cut to it, like he threw Flores and like he just threw Hanniger. He did well to catch a piece of that. One and two. Bo Nader, we've seen him in a couple of the games, and one thing we can say about this rookie catcher, he can block. Full count. Guys with good changeups, man. It's like sometimes I think they can't wait to get the three and two so they can throw it. And they have no fear throwing it in this count. It's a big strength of his. And there it was. And with an open base and two outs, he didn't care if he walked it. Throw it right out there below the strike zone, hoping for exactly what he got. Here's Matos. Matos hitting 266. Giants were 0 for 8 last night with runners in scoring position. 
And you'd like to break that pattern right away, but right now they're 0 for 2 already. Well, especially giving up the four spot in the top of the inning. If they could get anything on the board here. Little flare to right. Here comes Slater. And it's kicked. Loriano completely overran it. And coming in to score is Slater. Well, that's another big two out RBI base hit for Luis Matos. And you think back to what he did uh, in game one of the series. He had one of the biggest hits in that victory. Here he just fights it off and throws it out there. Watch the overrun. And everybody moves up in score position. The Giants have a chance to make some real noise. But that run they got off the bat of Matos, that was huge. So the Rook picks up Flores and he picks up Haniger. Is Carl Willis, Guardians pitching coaches out. Uh, those are the at bats that get you more playing time right there. I mean, they jump off the page at a manager who's making out a lineup. And not only that, but for a young player who's looking to gain confidence at this level, that absolutely gives an entire layer, layer of confidence. And, it, and, it, and that'll stay, and that'll linger for a long time. That's a money hit. Patrick Bailey, welcome back. Way outside, one and zero. I mean, Bailey. And think about it. He wasn't here at the beginning of the year. He's got 45 RBIs. Perfect changeup. It's when you tip your cap and say, "Well, I'm glad it's the first strike and not the third. Strata at third, Matos at second. Swing, going to miss. One and two. And you get a guy leaning out there for soft stuff away, it sets up the inside corner with a fastball. Again, trying to. Softball Bailey, that's three off speed pitches in a row. Actually, four. If you think back to the first one, that was a change up that was about three feet wide. And he's got an open base, so he doesn't have to give in to him. This will be the 60th pitch of the inning. Great about. Keep the line rolling. Here's JD Davis. More RBIs than anybody in this lineup. So he might be the right guy up at the right time. Been sitting around watching all those changeups, and then what does he get? He gets a fastball. Yeah, but he's put himself in a good position to beat that changeup. He's been thinking right field a lot, and that's how you beat a changeup. Up the middle. And Naylor digs it out. So Allen takes a hit away from Davis. Come celebrate all summer long. Well, Ferry Building. A good look at the Ferry Building. And then out in the cove. Here's Miles Straw. The Guardians sent eight men to the plate. 
in the first inning. Straw hitting 229, but he's made an impact in this series defensively. Check swing, it's one and two. Got him. Strong knew it. Well, we're headed back to Kona, Hawaii with the Giants vacations this November. We'll be there with John Dave and now Mike Ustremski and Mark Holbert. They'll be joining us. Call Giants Vacations at 800 670 0858 or book online at sfgiants.com slash vacations. And we'll see you in paradise as here's Quan. And now more than ever, the Aloha Spirit calls to us, which is why Giants Vacations has made a heartful donation to the Maui Strong Fund. One out, 0 1 to Quan as he takes a strike. Juan drew a walk and scored in the first. Fouls this one out of play. Late. Very tardy on the fastball. Almost looked like a, a two strike protect swing. Up and in one and two. Base hit left center field. So Quan with a one out single. A nice opposite field, two strike at bat. Here's Ramirez who parked one in the bleachers in the first inning. And he takes one on the outside corner for a strike. Good changeup. I mean, that's been his best weapon. It's been the most effective pitch he's had against this Cleveland team. Snap throw. Quan gets back. Nineteen steals on the year. Two and one. Three and one. You see Harrison's trying to stay away from Ramirez. Well, I mean, he doesn't want to walk a base runner into scoring position. I mean, he's got to he's got to go after him here. Three and two. Yeah, that's been the best slider that he's throwing today. Take a look at the fir the first inning home run that he hit. Fastball middle in, and he's so quick to that side. And it got out of here in a hurry. Drives it to right. Matos is going to make the running catch. Nice play. We're going to make it our T-Mobile coverage cam. Giants did not move Matos over to cover the gap in right center. They kept it pretty straight away to right field. It's a pretty good. It's a good thing that they did. I mean, he used every bit of that jump to gather it in. Now that had extra bases written on it. Here's Naylor. Naylor takes a bit high. He singled in the first. Runner goes. Bailey's throw on the money. 
Not in time. Now the exchange and the pop time were outstanding. Just missed a little bit high with the throw. The Giants will not challenge after they looked. Just a little bit late. Stolen base number 20. And it's 2 0 to Naylor. Up the middle and a base hit. And here comes Quan. And the Guardians get that run back. Boy, the aggressive style on the base pass. He's Stolen bases have really hurt. Here's Loriano. And he takes in tight. One ball and no strikes. Tight again. It's a tough part of the lineup to be pitching from behind. 1 0, 2 0, 3 1. Big swing and a foul. Two balls in one strike. Because it's really hard to corner pitch in those counts. Especially when he really hasn't had. Great command. He's kind of been all over. So he doesn't really have Sherwater, the plate umpire, looking for strikes as if he were pounding the zone. Two and two. He has been able to get the ball down this inning, which is a good adjustment. Taylor does not go. Bouncing ball to second. And this will end the inning. A run on two hits, one left, 5 1, Cleveland. Oracle Park on a Wednesday afternoon. The Guardians have jumped out in front. Giants a little helpful in the Guardians scoring. And here's Paul DeYoung who takes a strike. Young flips one to right. And Luriano reaches up and he makes the catch. Well, oh, some carry on it. Well, here's Smith. Schmidt has been swinging the bat well of late. Pitches away, a little backdoor breaking ball, then pounded a fastball in. And then he throws an off speed pitch at 79 miles per hour. Kind of dragging Casey Schmidt through the garden, garden rather, throwing all those pitches. So two off speed pitches down and away sets up. Fastball in. Big chopper over the mound. Jimenez throws him out. And that'll bring up Austin Slater. Slater opened up the bottom of the first with a, a line drive into center field for a hit. 
he's going to shoot this one foul. He got a 92 mile an hour fastball up. Hmm. The choice to be made a beer or a baseball. That's a tough choice. Depends upon where you're at with that beer. That's true. Three pitch. See you later. And that'll do it. Third inning coming up. First four career games in Giants history. Cliff Melton in 1937 at 31. Marischal with 27. Kyle Harrison with 26. Montefusco Estes and Linscom round out the top six. Jimenez shows bunt. Harrison with one strikeout today. Hanniger underneath it. One out. And here's Tyler Freeman. Freeman popped out to left field in the first inning. Sharply on the ground to third. Schmidt's got time. And he throws him out. Well, fans, 2024 flexible and reserve memberships are now available, which include access to 2023 postseason tickets. Go to sfgiants.com slash membership or call 415-972-2298. Check it out. Here's Arias, the Guardian shortstop. He hit the ball to Schmidt in the first inning. Schmidt threw it away and two runs scored. It down the left field line. Hanniger is going to get to it. Arias is going to go and he's going to make it. That one was hit hard. Take a look at the location of the loud contact. Just kind of a lazy breaking ball. But when you're going to try and throw a first pitch breaking ball for a strike, you are going to elevate a little bit. And it looked to me like Arias was sitting on a breaking ball because he was all over that one. Here's Bo Naylor. Naylor chases a high fastball. It's 0 and 1. Out of play, another good two. Lefty batters against Kyle Harrison. Five for five in his debut. Then one for two, one for three, one for five. And today so far, four for six. So 12 for 20 with no strikeouts. That's what's unusual. I mean, Harrison, strikeout specialist coming out of the minor leagues, and he just hasn't been able to, to take that same strikeout ability against lefties at the big league level. In tight. One and two. And I think a lot of it has to do with the break on his breaking ball. And, and it, it's slurvy. It's not has not been consistently quick. He's throwing some good ones, but for the most part, they, they have been a little slow to snap. They've been out over the plate, and the lefties have not been able to, or they haven't been swinging and missing. Check swing foul. Here's your defense 
pretty much straight away off the line of third is Schmidt. And Harrison will chase back Arias. And the one two. Bounce to second. Estrada has it. And the double does not hurt Kyle Harrison. Giants are coming up. From 1975 to 81, Willie Randolph, Jerry Remy, Frank White, Bobby Gritch, and the guy on top of the heap, my partner Dwayne Kuyper with a 984 fielding percentage. What I take out of that is there were some really good second basemen so in that sir, era. Five good gloves right there, man. Five good ones. Here's Tyro Estrada. Strato with a base hit in the first. Yeah, the other thing too about those five guys, athletic, great range. The whole package. <laughs> Two and one to Strata. It's this one sharply on the ground to Jimenez. Oh, let's take a look at my partner, Dwayne Kuyper, with the glove, 1975-1981. And they loved you in Cleveland, one of the top 100 players ever in the Cleveland organization. Nice going parts. Yeah, they did that at I don't know, maybe around 2007 or 8 when they came up with the 100. Well they've had some great teams since then. Yeah. You can have wonder to if it. you get eliminated while they start. <laughs> no no once, <laughs> once you're on the list you don't fall off. One of the uh, columnists for the Cleveland Plain Dealer wrote that I, I made it on personality. Yeah. <laughs> well, didn't hurt. Wilmer Flores out by way of the strikeout for the second time. Well, that guy remembers you. Yeah, maybe. Here's Hanniger. Hanniger struck out in the first. I mean, when I got traded here, I, I thought it was awful. Why? Because I was pretty happy where I was at. Well, you were established. And, you know, all the people that tried to make you feel better by saying it's the best thing that's ever going to happen to you, they were right. They were right. Hanniger lines went into left center field. He's got a base hit. Well, it's funny how it all works out. When you first come up with a team and you get to the big leagues, you think that's the team you're going to be with your whole career. Yeah, you're right. And then when you get traded, you realize that this is a business. It does change your perspective, but you and I both hit the lottery coming to San Francisco because it was the greatest thing that ever happened to us. Here's Matos. And Matos takes down low. I went so far, Mike, into not wanting to come here after the trade was announced. You, you got to take a physical, and I really did because I had 
He was coming off with knee surgery, but I asked my doctor in Cleveland, how can I flunk the physical? <laughs> Did you really? I didn't know that. Swing! You're gonna miss. Two balls and one strike. Good change up. And I did. You flunked it? And they still wanted you. I, I can remember Tom Haller is sitting in his office and the doctor calls him. And I'm thinking this is it. And I remember Hatch saying, We want him anyway. I guess I did my part to try to mix this. <laughs> well, you didn't want to leave Cleveland. Three and one. All right. We got a two out rally. Set the table again. <laughs> Bailey drew a walk in the first. And that walk allowed J.D. Davis to come up, who really had a good at bat, but had a hit taken away from him by the pitcher. So it's Hanniger and Matos and Bailey at the plate. Fastball right down the middle. It tells you one thing. He was not looking for a fastball. He was sitting on something soft. Two balls and a strike. One thing we've learned about Bailey and his approach, whether it be right-handed or left-handed, he's always seems to have a good plan as to what he's trying to do. Seems to not wanting to get off of that, looking for an off-speed pitch. No, I mean, he's not trying to, to guess pitch to pitch. He's up there. I'm gonna look on a something soft. You know? But now with two strikes, you got to adjust. He's gone up the bat with a little bit of a choke. And that'll end the inning. Giants strand a pair. Hall of Famer and Forever Giant, the Baby Bull, Orlando Cepeda, celebrating his 86th birthday today at the ballpark. Feliz There's Orlando. Orlando. Happy birthday, Happy Orlando. Birthday. Celebrating his 86th birthday today. His actual birthday is this Sunday, the 17th. But God bless him. He looks fantastic. One thing about Orlando Cepeda, he's one of the best dressers we've ever seen, and, and he has always been that way. And Miles Straw leads off the inning with a base hit. Yeah, hey, those guys from that era, Marichelle, Mays, all those guys dressed up. Big Mac. The other thing, too, about Orlando is he's got the best hats ever. He does. So, uh, happy birthday, baby boy. Here's Quan. Quan takes. A pitch inside, one ball and no strikes. The Guardians now with seven hits. One fouls it back. A walk in a single. And Quan has scored twice. Kyle Harrison on a short leash right now. They've got Alex Wood getting ready in the Giants bullpen. Quite honestly, I mean, there's been three pitches in this at bat to Quan. I'm, I'm surprised Miles Straw has not tried to steal. He goes. He does not. And it's a pop up. And it's a pop up in a tough spot, but Slater's going to get there with the Sunfield. Well, the Padres are coming to San Francisco, final homestand of the year. The Get your tickets. Go to sfgiants.com/tickets. 
Giants last 10 games they have seven against L.A. Four in L.A. Then they come home with three against the Padres and then finish up with the Dodgers. So get your tickets. Come on out. Ramirez with one out takes a strike. He homered in the first and then lined out to Matos, who made a really nice running catch. Own two. Imagine that Ramirez would like to have that one back. A lot of stress every inning in this outing today for Harrison. Draw with. 17 steals. I am voting that guy best dress today. Yeah, babe. Take a look at the bat path. And then the exit velocity and the launch angle. And that is your physics lesson today. Got him. Come up the same pitch he hit out. Yeah, I think Kyle Harrison saying, "I got your bat path." Yeah, show that bat path. Right through him at 94. Late. Here's Josh Naylor, two for two. See what Harrison's trying to do. Two for two. I'm not going to let you get extended at all. Bunch him up. I think he's pitched inside today. About as good as he has against lefties in any of his starts. Straw looked like he was going to go. Throw over call by the bench. Well, there's your two disengagements. Yep. So that means he can't throw. He still could throw over there, but if the guy doesn't steal, they don't get it out. It's a balk. But I think it does lengthen out a base dealer's lead. Straw goes. Swinging a fly ball to the left. Starting to carry, but Hanniger will put it away. Well, I don't know. Shirt of the year? Best dressed. Boy, I'm Dwayne Kuiper. With me is Mike Kruko. Mike and I will not be doing the four games when the team is in Denver, but we'll pick it up. In Arizona and LA. So we'll have four days off to watch this team play. Well, I hate to take days off this time of year, but uh, it uh, is a bit of a necessity. So we'll enjoy that time, but get ready for the final push. Yeah. I think we paid our dues going to Denver. Yeah. Davis takes wide. That's a fair ball. And an out. I don't think J.D. Davis thought that ball was ever going to be fair, and it was. Well, Johnson tried to get something going with one out. Here's. 
Paul DeYoung. Take a look how close that ball was to the line. Just bounced over the base. Down the left field line. That's a fair ball for DeYoung. So he's going to roll into second base with a double. Bringing Casey Schmidt to the plate. Take a look at the location. They wanted a back door to kind of leak out over the plate. It looked to me like the young was sitting on something soft and he was ready for it. So a one out double. He puts himself in score position. Schmidt takes a strike. He rolled out to second in the second. Saints need to take advantage of this. Jam shot. Schmidt retired. De Young to third. Comfortable offers. Yeah, that's what a guy that effectively pitches to contact can do to you. He just takes the sting out of your bat. Just a little bit off the sweet spot up the bat or a little bit in on you. Then you face a guy like this and you really don't think much about having to strike out. You say, all right. And then you head home and you're 0 for 4. Out of play, it's one ball and one strike. They call these guys pitchers. I mean, he's got a plan. I mean, he reads hitters. Every pitch he throws sets up the next pitch. Put a little on, take a little off, move it around the strike zone, elevate. Ninety one looks like ninety five. Yeah, he sets that up with his off speed stuff. Allen's a rookie. And he looks like he's been pitching in this league for ten years. Slater goes the other way. And it's going to be tracked down easily by Luriano. Giants strand another runner. It's five one Guardians. Presented by Coors Light. First pitch against the Dodgers, and the fans can enjoy live music from Spanish language rock bands outside and inside Oracle Park. Go to sfgiants.com slash fiesta. Alex Wood, the new pitcher, when it's time for a change, think speedy. Oil change and auto service, you're trusted. Oil change tune-up and smog experts. There's a strike. Notice how we just got everything in. Nice. Numbers for Alex Wood. 26th appearance, 5 of 5 with a 4.77 ERA. Trying to change the pace of this game. Been a lot of stress in this game so far for the Giants. I mean, they've spent a lot of time on the field defensively. Mariano's 0 for 2, strikeout in a ground ball, 2. Second. Hit up the middle and a C9 base hit. As Liriano's going to go for two. Here's the throw. And he's going to make it. He earned that right out of the box. Just a, a hustle double. Take a look at him go. And he's thinking opportunity. I mean, look, he's an outfielder. He knows what opportunities when ground balls go out to certain parts of the ballpark. If you're thinking double, I mean, you have a chance to do it with his speed. That's a hustle double. And there's a bunt foul by Jimenez. Also, look, it's not a ball hit hard. So it's going to take a while to get to the outfielder. Outfield grass in this ballpark is probably medium speed compared to other ballparks around the league. So it's one ball and one strike. 
But those are little nuances that an outfielder would know. That's a heads up play by Lariano. Sharply hit in a tough play for DeYoung, but he makes it. That had some wicked, a lot of wicked. This thing comes up on you. And plus, he had a little bit of a, a vision problem because of what Loriano did going back to the base. And he blocked him off. Here's Freeman. Freeman, a pop up and a ground ball. No strike. Kyle Harrison talking it over, evaluating his outing today. He's talking to Alex Cobb. This is foul. One. Guy's got three weeks in the big leagues, and the other guy's got what, 12 years? Yeah, I'm over. <laughs> and the one thing that, that Cobb's probably talking to him about is you know, when you are having problems getting the ball down early in the game, you know, ways to try and get back down around the knees, ways that you can adjust your sights instead of using a glove as a target, use a catcher's foot. Anything you can do to get down in, this, in the low part of the zone. In the left field, a base hit. Mariano had to freeze, so he can only get to third. Freeman is single, and here's Arias. But that little action, interaction you see there with uh, Cobb and, and Harrison, it's how you learn as a young player. Seeing eyeballs. Seen a lot of them in this game today. Well, here's where you need one hit hard right at Paul DeYoung. Infield is halfway. So that was called on the swing. It's a ball and a strike. Did he go? Kind of. 50 50 zone. This will drift. Not into the seats, but into the arcade. It gives you an idea of how lively this ballpark is. There hadn't been a lot of wind today. And this ballpark gets a bit smaller when the wind isn't blowing hard. Hit up the middle could be a pair. That's one and two. How you play it. And a newbie. Nice. EG and more hybrid models than any other brand. Toyota. Let's go places. Well, back here in San Francisco. Lots of things going on, including that guy. Giants need some runs. It's Estrada to lead things off. Cleveland leading five to one, and Estrada oh. gets Stu Sherwater with a foul. That rocked him. When you have to stand next to Stu Sherwater, you get the impression that this guy could definitely take a punch, and he just proved it here. That's a rough one right there. Swing, gonna miss. Nothing in two. One more look at how Shrewater kind of got rocked back on his back heels.
almost got him again. It's one and two. One of the trainers we had here with the Giants when uh, we were players, Mark Laton, when he left uh, the Giants, he went in and he became the Major League Baseball umpire trainer. Popped up to the shortstop, Arias. And he was in charge of all the umpires. And I asked him, I go, do they have a lot of injuries? He goes, yeah, because they have a lot of neck injuries with foul balls that hit him. Because, you know, when you're looking in, they're completely relaxed. And then all of a sudden they get jarred. And like a lot of these guys, they, they really suffer a lot of chronic neck pain. Flores takes a strike. And, you know, they don't come off the field during a game. So, you know, they have some issues with their knees and their hips, lower back. Kind of take the umpires for granted until they go on strike, and then you realize just how good they are. Yep. Bounce to Naylor at first, so Wilmer's 0 for three. Well, get ready for the 49ers Week Two matchup against the Rams with 49ers pregame live Sunday at noon on NBC Sports Bay Area Plus. What do they look good against Pittsburgh? Oh, wow. Hanegert with a healthy swing and a foul straight back. Good balance in that swing. His balance has been really good. Giants looking for some two out thunder here. They got it in the third with two outs. Hanniger singled Matos walk, but then Bailey took a call third. And this is the fifth inning. They need to put another ding in that scoreboard. Great day for a sun hat. To two pitch. All right. Here we go. Nibble, 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 nibble. Allen's really done a nice job of keeping him off balance. That's a tough take right there. Pitch it could have gone either way. Giants will take a two out walk. Let's take a look at the three two fastball or look like a cutter right at the base or below the zone. Matos has singled and he's drawn a walk. Down and in. Monvalda, no strikes. Since Matos has been called back up from Sacramento, I mean, he really has impressed us with his eye. Been very disciplined. High fly ball to right. This should end the inning. And it does. So, five in the books. It's five to one, Cleveland.
Number 500, one of a career-high 52 that he hit during the 1965 National League MVP season. And he hit it off of Don Notterbart of the Houston Astros. And Willie, we miss you. Renee, we miss you. We wish you were here. And thank you for all the memories. Here's Bo Naylor. Naylor has bounced out twice to Tyro Estrada. Think about that year that Mays had in 65. That was the year of the pitcher. And in that year, he puts up 52 homers. The most he ever hit in a single season at Candlestick. At Candlestick. That had it had it wasn't enclosed back then. So that two two pitch in the dirt three and two. And that was the year that Bob Gibson had 13 shutouts. He. Schmidt got a late jump on that and Naylor drives it the opposite way. Yeah, he was definitely leaning towards the line. Here's Miles Straw. That's 10 hits now for Cleveland. And a strike. Trying to keep it at a four run deficit. Give the Giants a shot. We've got 12 more outs left in this game. Nick Sandlin. Two and one. We have not seen Sandlin in this series. <laughs> Schmidt, Estrada, Davis. Always fun to double up the fast guys. Yeah, they don't like that. And you had speed with really Naylor, the, even though he's a catcher, he's got good speed, but Miles Straw flies. He can fly. He has not hit into a lot of double plays. Work for Paul DeYoung. And that'll take care of it. So Alex Wood has had a pair of double plays in two innings. It's 5 1 Cleveland. As the Giants take on the Dodgers, and fans at Sunday's game are eligible to win prizes, including the grand prize four night, five day stay at the Grand Lux Suite at Vidanta Nuevo Beata in Mexico. SFGiants.com slash fan appreciation. Get on out here and uh, you might win the grand prize. I hope you do. Root for you. Right now, a pitching change for the Guardians when it's time for a change to Expedia Oil Change and Auto Service. Your trusted oil change tune up and smog experts. We see Nick Sandlin come in for the 50th time. 3.88 ERA, height sidearm delivery. He's got sink, a good slider, and a changeup he'll throw at you. And he comes at you in a little bit of different way. Kind of crouches down. A little bit of a take back. And it's foul. Sandlin signed out at the University of Southern Mississippi. That's in Hattiesburg, Mississippi. And you know who's from Hattiesburg? Who? Our old pal Eli Whiteside. Oh. He was a good one. He's a good giant. 
Sandlin, a second round pick by Cleveland in 2018. Bailey rolls this one over to second where Jimenez has got it. And that'll bring up JD Davis. Rockies are leading the Cubs this afternoon. Seven to three. And if you are interested, Tampa Bay beat Minnesota 5 4. Anaheim in Seattle, and they're beating Seattle 2 to 1, but that game is in the fifth. All the other games tonight. Drop down to J.D. Davis and it's one and two. So the Cubs will depart Denver and the Giants will arrive today. Call back. Tell you what, you better get ready if you're on a pitching staff to go into Denver for four games. Yep. It is Coors Field. And it hasn't changed much. Still a great place to hit. Old foul. They're hitting today. The Rockies have 11 hits. The Cubs have nine. Looking at no home runs for the Cubs. Rockies have hit a bunch. One and two. Foul back. Nick Jones, Montero, Chris Bryant, Ryan McMahon. Chris Bryant back off the IL. His. Home run is 10. Another one two pitch. Big chopper to third. Foul. So we got a battle. There you go. There's your sequence. Eight pitches into it. Four seam sinker slider 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 four seam sinker. Kind of run out of tricks. Two and two. <laughs> and a pop up. This is playable. Coming in from third is Freeman who makes a nice play. And now a message from Happy Days RV. You'll be on the road with your RV for years to come. So why would you buy one without a lifetime warranty? That's why we are the only place to buy a new or gently used travel trailer or motorhome. Because every one of our qualifying RVs is protected with warranty forever. Here's Paul DeYoung. Too good at bats. A line out and then a double down the left field line. Chuck Peterson getting ready. One pitch. 
Dion wanted to go, but he held up. It's two balls and a strike. Two and two. We're seeing some guys throw sidearm now that can bring some pretty good velocity. Yeah, that last pitch jumped on DeYoung pretty quick. Yeah, it did. DeYoung holds up three and two. And Sandlin, I mean, he, he kind of hides the ball a long time. It's kind of a sneaky delivery. Little tapper. And Sandlin will throw him out. So we're on our way to the seventh. It's 5 1 Cleveland. Uh, the first inning was a rough one. Two hitters in. It was 2 0 on the Ramirez home run. And then a throwing error by Casey Schmidt allowed two more. The Guardians came back with another run in the second. That's it for them. Five. And the Giants, their opportunities in the first, and they came up with one run. And it's 5 1 as Alex Wood is. Starting out the seventh inning, pitching to Jose Ramirez. Ramirez, one for three as he pops this one up. It looks like it'll be DeYoung. So Wood got Ramirez way out in front. And here's Naylor. Naylor two for three. Swing and a miss, and it's 0 and 1. Like Naylor was taking a long look into the Giants' dugout, almost like he was making eye contact with Gabe Kapler. And he still is. I haven't seen that before. <laughs> oh, two pitch. Take a look. This is the look he was looking into the Giants dugout with. I mean, that's a long stare. And he did it twice. Got him. And I think he had the whole coaching staff rooting hard against him. <laughs> I think you're right. First strikeout for Alex Wood. Sat him down. Have some pine meat. Here's Liriano who takes a strike. I mean, those things definitely get talked about in a dugout. Could fire a group up, too. Don't know the history. Maybe there isn't any. I, I, it's got to be some history for that book. Yeah, but why in the seventh inning of the last game of a three game series? I don't know. That's why I, it, it was so unusual. Two and two. You know that's something too that it gets picked up by other dugouts, other players around the league. Foul, because you just don't ever see it. The guy who took a long stare into the dugout twice in at bat.
Hard hit. Estrada stays with it. And that will do it. Giants offense. They need to get going. It's a 5 1 game. When it's time for a change, think speedy oil change and auto service. Your trusted oil change tune up and smog experts. So, Angel De Los Santos, who is every day De Los Santos coming into this one, a 63rd appearance on the year, 5 and 2 with a 3 3 8 ERA. De Los Santos is third year at the big league level. Just about to start his fourth. So here's where Gabe Kapler is going to unleash the bench. Unleash the hounds. And it's Lamont Wade to be the first one unleashed. And he's going to take a strike. Wade at 258. Pops this one back and out of play. Mike Yastrzemski's on deck. He would hit for Slater. And Wade pokes at this one to stay alive, and he does. Wade sharply on the ground in a base hit. Catch every pitch with the fastest internet from Xfinity. With a reliable connection you can count on in the clutch even during peak hours. The next generation 10 G network. So here's Yastrzemski. So John's trying to build on that pinch hit single or Gabe Kapler unleashing Yastrzemski. We're going to go with that theme this inning and see if it works. I, I like the unleash. So far you're one for one. Yeah. Down and away, it's a ball and a strike. <laughs> Outside, two and one. Giants to take a walk. Jack Peterson getting ready. Gonna miss two and two. He's gonna take his time out. Two pitch. Broken bat. They get one and they get two. Giants have asked Yastrzemski to play it safe. Uh, remember, he's been fighting hamstring problems all year, so I mean, he cannot go 100%. The bat's just too valuable, and if it means it, 
that he runs into a he rolls into a double play because he can't go full speed. So be it. Cannot Estrada cannot afford to lose him again. Not before you go to Denver, that's for sure. In tight. I mean, that's one of the hardest things to do for these guys is to back off running. Because that's <laughs> against your nature, especially Yastrzemski. I mean, they know how important this game is. They know what it means to stay out of a double play. Ball, dude. Jacob Rosenberg down there, at third base line. Benjamin Peckner over at first base today. One two pitch to Tyro Estrada. Yeah, that's a fair ball over the bag. Juan gets to it. And it's a double. Juan's very good at digging out balls in the left side of the field and making plays with a very quick release and accurate arm and this was pretty close at second off the crack of the bat I didn't think they have a chance but Quan made it close. It's a good effort. You expect that from the gold glover. So here's Wilmer Flores who's due. <laughs> Drives one to right. He's got a hit. Estrada is going to score. It's 5 2. All right. Well, they needed that. That'll intensify the belief in the dugout. Yeah. Three down sounds a whole lot better than four. Yeah, it does. You know we go. You know we go. And now they have a chance to do more. So, Carl Willis. But we have to believe leads the league in mound visits after what we've seen here these last three days. <laughs> My goodness. But he's given Sam Hinches a little chance to, to get loose, which is the whole purpose of the mound visit. So Wilmer picks up RBI number 55. Here's Hanniger. One and oh. Could not check. Guardians really open up the right side of the infield for Hanniger. And that's paint. So it puts Hanniger in the hole. That'll do it. Giants pick up a run. It's 5 2.
is going to lead it off against Alex Wood, who has pitched since the fifth. And he's allowed three hits, no walks, and a strikeout. Oh, and two. We have changes. Start out with Matos is now in center. Yes, stays in the game. He's in right. Davis moves from first to third. And Lamont Wade comes in after. He was unleashed. And that was a good unleashment. Well, we got one run. Oh, and two. And Wade is going to beat Jimenez to the bag. Jimenez can put a little pressure on you. Take a look at the effort. He didn't have a lot of backswing, so he got down that line well. Wood was not going to have a chance to outrace him. And it was going to be Lamont Wade or nobody. Just gets him. That's where you can really take your eye off the ground ball because you want to see where that runner is. Freeman with a base hit in the fifth. Drives this one out of play. Alex Wood has really done a nice job of keeping the Guardians off balance. And this is one of the best change ups that he's had. Been a great pitch for him today. And change ups set up hard, hard stuff in. Two and two to Freeman. Giants now trail by three. And they'll have Matos, Bailey, and Davis coming up in the bottom of this inning. Back two and two. Foul again. All right, let's take a look at Jacob Rosenberg. Good pick. Oh, Backhander. That a babe. First baseman's mitt. Yep. Alex Wood wanted just a wee bit outside. Stu Sherwater's been very good today. Played umpire. Off the screen down the right field line. We got a battle going here. It's going, Dad. Jam shot. Tough play. Got him. You don't know what kind of spin you're going to get when Tyro Estrada is charging that. So he kind of got a break with that ball coming up then. Yep. I mean, that ball comes up just above the belt. And a nice quick exchange. That, hit the, that didn't hit the bag, did it? I, I, it? It could have. It really came up funny. We'll find out. One and oh. Cesarius.
3 and 0. Center field. Matos. Side retired. Matos, Bailey Davis. Unleashed. Four pitches. A changeup. Then he went slider. Then he went slider. And he comes back with a changeup and sits him down. Grabs some pine meat. Put staring in the dugout. When it's time for a change, think Speedy Oil Change and Auto Service, your trusted oil change tune-up and smog experts. Eli Morgan, the right-hander, coming in now for the Guardians. 55th appearance, 5-2 and two with a 3-2-0 ERA. Facing Jock Peterson. And tight, and it hit him. One pitch, you got a base runner. Well, it's a hard way to do your job, but Peterson did his job. Yes, he did. Here's Patrick Bailey. Swing, gonna miss. High fastball, no balls in one strike. Morgan, kind of a three pitch guy. Fastball, low to mid 90s, more lows than mids. He's got a slider and a changeup. A lot of sliders. A lot of changeups to lefties. Ball and one strike. Hook foul. It's a loud strike. Hit. Outside to Bailey, it's two and two. They just need another base runner to get the tying run to the plate. They leave with a healthy swing, uh, a pitch right down the middle of the plate. Sable chalk it up. There's activity in the Guardians bullpen. It's Sam Hinches. And yeah. that's for the left handed hitters that came in in the seventh. And a base hit to right. Jack Peterson will round second. He'll head to third. Just Go in the protect mode, take a little swing off. I mean, he had a lot of lunge here, but he keeps the hands back, puts it on a barrel, and sets up a first and third with nobody out. The Giants get the tie and run coming up to the dish. J.D. Davis is 0 for 3. Pitch change up. And back of the wide fastball. It's a ball and a strike. I'm going to show you a fastball to set up the change up or the slider. Ooh, and they get a call at the top of the strike zone. Haven't seen many of those today. Mm -hmm. 
So it's one and two. Peterson at third. Bailey at first. And it's a full count. Easy take. High towering fly ball. Juan back at the wall. Out of here! And this game is tied. How about that? Unleashed. Unleashed. <laughs> you couldn't tell for sure if it was going to make it. Here's DeYoung. He swings and fouls it straight back. Well, he was on it. Boy, he worked and worked and worked to get to that 3 2 count. And he got a mistake up and jumped on it. And he hit it high. I mean, the way he left the box, you kind of thought he thought he had a chance. But then you watch Stephen Kwan, the left fielder, kind of drift back thinking he may have a chance. There's the off speed pitch. Just above the, the belt, middle in, above the hands. And he's measuring. There's a shot on the ground on one hop to Jimenez. From the splash cam, you can see just how high and majestic this was. Unleashed. So here's Tito Francona coming out. And this is the group of lefties that I was talking about. So it's Sam Hinches. Five five. Five runs, ten hits, and one error for both teams. Well, all the runs pretty much came early for the Guardians, and then everything has come late for the Giants. And right now you're going to see a new pitcher, Sam Hinches. One of two lefties that the Guardians have in their bullpen, 50th appearance on the year. So here's Wade, and it's late, and he's one for one. There's a strike right at the top of the zone on the inside corner. Hitches, big guy, 6'6, 245. Mid to high 90s fastball, curveball, slider, changeup. A lot of off speed breaking stuff to lefties. One and two. So he's showing them the curveball and the slider. Most blowing saves. Rockies lead the world with 31. Rangers and Guardians tied at 29. Orioles round out the top four. Wade's got a base hit. This is into the gap. Is he going to kind of go? He is going to put on the brakes, and I think it's a good idea. Well, Miles Straw, a gold glover out there, has got really one of the best arms we've seen a center fielder have. Very accurate. Quick release, and his effort cutting off that gap held weight at first base. That's a big play. But nevertheless, a nice two strike at back going the opposite gap for Lamont Wade Jr. And just like that, Giants coming back, starting a new rally. Here's Yastrzemski. And yes, takes low. 
It's the thing about a rally kill and home run. I and mean, then once you get the run scored, you tie it up, you got to crank it up again. Yep. Right down the pipe to Yastrzemski, and it's a ball and a strike. Sink, sit and break it, ball. Swing and a miss. He got a high fastball at 97. He's got a good one. And he's got that little lazy arm thing going because he is a long arm pitcher. We mentioned 6'6. Six, six. So that fastball can get on you. His Remsky goes the other way. That's going to be out of play. Five five game. Rogers and Duvall. Got him. So here's Estrada. And he takes high, one and oh. Two hits today for the Giants second baseman. There's a strike. On deck, Wilmer Flores. Giants would like to get to Wilmer Flores this inning. Bouncing ball foul and if Mark Holberg gets one and two. In tight. Wade thought about it. And it's two and two. Any hesitation, you're done. And that's when you keep that ball in front of you as a catcher, it'll cause hesitation. Especially in a tie ball game with two outs, you have to be sure as a base runner. Fall again. And you have to get a good jump. Two and two. It's a great I don't pitch. Know how he took it. And that's a great take. And I don't either. As big as that breaking ball is, that I mean, thing starts out at over his waist belt and then it drops down to shoot top high. That's, that's a good take. High drive to left. Juan. Is underneath it and he makes the catch. And that'll end the inning. Giants tie it up. It's JD Davis, home run number 18, and a big one. It's bye bye, baby. It's 5 5 as we go to the ninth. To the ball game, it's Toyota. Giants post game live. Carlos Ramirez, George Cantos, Travis Ish, Ishikawa for more highlights, interviews, and more. Right after the game. When it's time for a change, think Speedy Oil Change and Auto Service. Your trusted oil change tune up and smog experts. Here you go. Tyler Rogers in for the 62nd time this year with his 306 ERA. Off the shin guard, one ball and no strikes to Bo Naylor. And then Cole Calhoun is on the on deck circle. Little flare foul. Well, 
One ball and one strike. So used to seeing just flares and so true. Swinging bunts and just bad contact off of Tyler Rogers. So true. Patrick Bailey thought that was a strike. Giants did not get it. It changes everything. I mean, big difference between a one-two count and a two-one count as to where you could locate the next pitch. Oh, he had a pitch to hit. Let's take a look at that one-one pitch. They set outside and it comes along the inside. See him reach across his body with some umpires. You're not going to get it when you go outside the intended target that wide. Can't well, fault Shearwater's zone. It's been a good one today. <laughs> and now he's got to make him swing the bat. Jock Peterson cannot get to it, so we'll do it again. There's Peterson in left, Yastrzemski in center, Hanniger in right. Back. They take their swings. The Naylor boys? Yes, they do. Or the Guardians in hole. I mean, they're, they're a pretty oh. aggressive team. <laughs> Softly hit. And Dion puts it away. Boy, he had to wait and then time it right. He needed every bit of that glove. Uh, it's hard to wait. I mean, he kind of hit him a changeup. What were you talking about? Soft contact? Soft contact. I mean, and that is right there, snow cone. Right at the tip of his web. Nice play. Hang with him. Here's Calhoun. Calhoun actually has a couple of lifetime hits and in four at bats. He's two for four. And a pop up. More bad contact. How about the wind? It's not carrying the center. <laughs> That could not have felt good on the hands of Cole Calhoun. Here's Quan. As Mike Shannon would say, that sure looked like a Ste Reich. Ste Reich. I miss Mike Shannon. Lost him last year. This is going to be tough play for DeYoung, and Quan is going to beat it out. You only make that play if you're shading Quan to go the other way. Yeah, it had to be hit right at DeYoung. As soon as he had to go to his right, he knew he wasn't going to be able to get in position to get enough on the throw. Quan just has that much speed. Now you've got a base dealer on the bags, and it is. A bona fide steel situation. And you also got a really dangerous hitter at the plate. You'd kind of like to have avoided this guy this inning. So Ramirez hits a home run on the first inning. And you got Quan the base dealer. He does not go, and there's a strike. Emmanuel Clause, the closer for the Guardians, getting ready. And a flare to left. That's a base hit. 
Swan's going to make it to third. And now with two outs. Abe Kapler is walking up the steps. And there's your closer. So two outs, nobody on. Infield hit, double. And Duvall coming in. <laughs> 23 hits in this game. And the new pitcher is Camino Duvall, who's going to go after Josh Naylor. Take a look the numbers for Duvall 63rd appearance on the year, 292 ERA. Naylor has faced Duvall before. Just won at bat. He's 0 for 1. So there isn't a lot of history. The only history that you have is Naylor has been good in this series. Well, and with an open first base, you do not have to give him anything to hit. I and mean, he's going to want to swing. So he will go out of the strike zone. He will be aggressive here. You could use that against him. Stay on a corner with your location. 99 up and in, and it's 0 and 1. That's a perfect pitch. Juan at third. Ramirez at second. Big chopper. And this will end the inning. Giants need a run to go home. It's in an air for the Giants. Calhoun goes to right field. Luciano moves to center. Emmanuel Clause comes in for the 70th time this year. And quality arm. We've seen him in every game of this series. He's a hard thrower. He's basically a two-pitch guy. High 90s, 100 mile an hour fastball and a slider, which is a very, very good strikeout pitch for him for both righties and lefties. Take a look at the StatCast 3D, 3G uh, statistics on it 104 miles per hour. Hit it 358 feet. It was high. Here's Wilmer Flores who takes outside for a ball. Wilmer got a big hit in the seventh, a two out single to knock in a run. On deck, Hanniger. And then Jock Peterson. Take the break on that slider is a straight down bite, and, and that's really why he's the closer because of that movement. Obviously, high velocity fastball doesn't hurt either, but let's think about his velocity as you get to start early, and that high one is not an easy one to take. So, two and two to Wilmer Flores. Sneak that one by Wilmer at 99. He's tough to throw a fastball by. <laughs> Line drive, base hit. So Wilmer Flores waited on that breaking ball. And he's aboard, and here's Mitch Hanniger. 
to give you a great at bat or what? No, just another great effort. He gets a good pitch, though. So, I mean, this is a hittable pitch. And in a two strike count, you're in the protect mode. The no stride look, head stays very still. And they're going to pitch run uh, Blake Sable. All right. Hey, what did we see Blake Sable do the other day? Steal a base with Glaze on the mound. I think it was. <laughs> so here's Hanniger. Hanniger takes high. One ball and no strikes. One and one with Jack Peterson on deck. Hit to right, a long run for Calhoun, and he's going to run out of room. Think about Klaus A. I mean, he does not get rid of the ball quickly out of the stretch. I mean, he is uh, low. He's got an abbreviated slide step. We haven't seen it. Runner goes. Swing and a miss. Throw down to second. And he made it. He got another walking lead at first. He never stopped him. I mean, look at that jump. All he had to do was take a look at him. And Clause did give him his abbreviated movement. I mean, that's his best, as quick as he could be out of the stretch to no avail. So here's Jock Peterson. The Guardians have a base open. There for a strike and it's 0 and 1. Best arm in the outfield for the Guardians is in center with Miles Strop. They all have pretty good arms. They're all pretty good assist arms. They don't have a blazer, they have quick releases and good accuracy. Straw on the move and he'll track it down. Now Straw, I beg your pardon, has been taken out of the game. Luriano is now in center. You're field. right. Luriano tracking it down. Calhoun in right field does not have a good arm. So let's see what Patrick Bailey can do. See if he can send everybody home. Well, he's going to get a two out jump. Sable is at second. First pitch strike. That last one was a tough pitch to hit. But now hey, try to put it in play somewhere. He paints him on the corner twice. He still hasn't shown him that slider yet. But Bailey's got to protect. Got him. And we're going extra innings. It's five to five. A big out in the ninth, so he will start the tenth. And it'll be Ramon Liriano to lead things off with the ghost runner, Josh Naylor at second base. So here's Liriano who chases and misses, and it's 0 and 1. On deck will be Jimenez. And then Freeman. 
strikeout situation. Pure and simple for Duvall. Tap foul, nothing in two. So back to back, fastballs. Got him. Oh, that's absolute unhittable perfection with location and high velocity, 100 mile an hour, knee high on the black. And he turns Luriano into a pair of shoes. And that's the strikeout that the Giants are looking for. Here's Jimenez. Jimenez takes inside for a ball. Swing, gonna miss. One ball and one strike. Oh, late hard snap and slider. Let's talk about when Doval comes in. To a game and he has knee high location. He's tough and that's what he's showing here through five pitches into this inning. Rounder to second. Estrada to Wade. Two outs. Naylor moves to third. And here's Tyler Freeman. And he likes the first pitch. Perfect slider. Oh man, that is absolute slicing up that strike zone, shaving the corners. Right under the hands. One ball and one strike. One and two. So he's throwing them all three of his pitches. Slider on the first pitch, four seamed above the hands. And then that last pitch was a two seam fastball, which had late movement and in perfect location. Peterson. Side retired. Bailey will be the ghost runner. Giants want to go home. It's one error for the Guardians. Five runs, 12 hits for the Giants. And the Guardians going to go to the bullpen once again. It's going to be Xavier Curry. Take a look at his numbers. 36 appearance on the year. Three and three with a 4-1-1 ERA. Curry, 25 years of age. He's a rookie. Take your bats against him. You're going to see a, a pretty healthy fastball, low to mid 90s with the velocity, slider, curveball, change up. And this is why we're here. Eighth inning, two men on, and JD Davis pumps out his 18th home run of the year, a three runner to tie it up. And he is at the plate. With Bailey at second base. Swing. You're going to miss. High 91 mile an hour fastball. Brandon Crawford's on deck. High three quarter release from Curry. And this pop up is going to be out of play, so it's a quick 0 2 to JD Davis.
since 2019 Giants 42 extra inning wins trying to do it again. One and two. Two and two. That's exactly what he did the home run at bat. I mean, he worked the count full. And unloaded on a high mistake. Two two pitch. All right, here we go again. Guardians pinch the gaps. They give him a complete free line at left field. See the room on the left side of of the field wide open for him. And the walk. And it's 0-2 to a walk, and that's not a terrible thing for the Guardians. I mean, this sets up a force play now. Profit's going to hit. Well, you're in a strikeout situation with an open base, and I think he pitched him well. Who's been swinging the bat well and has had nothing to show for a lot of good at bats, but he's had good balance in his hacks. Well, you might as well save it for now. Shows bunt and takes it low. <laughs> Guardians have to watch for the bunt, so they're in. Two and zero. Oh. Now he may let him go. <clears throat> Daly and Davis are your base runners. The two zero. Oh. Not close. Easy take. And he's got everybody in the stadium in on this pitch. And a strike. Here are your base runners. And the walk. Well, now you got to get creative. Start bringing outfielders in, and because the bases are loaded and nobody out. Well, it was Monday where Lamont Wade Jr. was the hero. Late night Lamont comes through and he's got an opportunity to do the same thing here. So when you say get creative I mean it always shows up in the way that a team tries to defend the bases loaded no out situation. Infield comes in outfield comes in. Well this all started when. Gabe unleashed the bench. And that started in the seventh inning. So here we go. The Guardians with the infield in. Swing and a miss. It's about as good a slider as he's got in a perfect location. Curry's trying to strike him out.
off the plate to even the count at a ball and a strike. There's your base runners Crawford Davis. Make that Bailey Davis and Crawford and the one one. The one and two. A high breaking ball. Twenty six thousand two hundred and eighteen and most of them are standing. In the dirt. Been blocked by Naylor. We've been saying that a lot this series. Bo Naylor has been putting on a blocking clinic through these last three games and he does it again here. And that ball hit the side of the plate. You don't know what that thing's going to do. That's a great block. So two and two. Hit to left. Tagging is Bailey. Quan's got it. Here's the throw. And this game is over. The Guardians will, I'm sure, have somebody look at it, and now the umpires are going to look at it. They have nothing to lose. Cleveland is challenging the safe call at home plate. Quan knew he didn't have to worry about a cutoff, man. And this one is not coming back. This game's over. He is safe. But from Tito Francona's perspective, you have to challenge. There's so the operations center. The crew of Las Diaz and Alfonso Marquez is going to look this over. Should be pretty quick. Giants, I think this is the only game in town right now. And uh, most of the crowd is hung around. So you should hear a pretty good roar if this turns out like we think it is. Safe. Here's your ball game. And the Giants win a game where they were trailing by four going to the seventh inning. How about that? Well, you have to have magic this time of year, and, and this win absolutely qualifies them for it. And now they've got momentum going into a tough 10 game road trip that opens up tomorrow night in Colorado. But this is a game that they absolutely needed, and uh, they've got themselves a happy flight. Happy flight to Denver. Four game series starts tomorrow night, and now we watch the scoreboard for the rest of the evening. Final score it's the Giants six, the Guardians five. Thanks for joining us. Stay tuned. Toyota Giants post game live starts right now.